there's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Hi, I'm Holly. I am a user experience designer and front-end developer, and today we're going to be making a Bob Ross Lorem Ipsum generator. I'm so excited to do this because I've been wanting to do it for months and it's just been kind of a struggle and an uphill battle just trying to fit all the pieces together. HTML and CSS are my bread and butter, but I'm still a little bit new to JavaScript and apparently this is really hard to do because I've listened to so many tutorials and I just couldn't find what I wanted to do. But then I did! So I'm going to teach you guys how to do this and I really encourage you to try this on your own and create your own generators. I would love to see what you come up with. Don't worry, I'm going to link to all of the code in the description so you can take this and run with it and create your own. And if you do decide to make your own generator, please tag me in it because I would love to see what you come up with. And without further ado, let's get started. So let me show you guys what inspired all of this a long time ago. It's called Jeffsum and it's a Jeff Goldblum Lorem Ipsum generator and it's amazing. But just going over the UX of this whole thing, there were a lot of smart decisions that were made. Number one, it says Jeffsum, and then right below it says Jeff Goldblum. You would be surprised when people make these kind of generators that they don't explicitly say what it is. Number two, very smart decision, is that he actually has a big picture of Jeff Goldblum right there, and then it rotates and then it's like a mini slideshow and then the background also changes too so even though it's kind of like a simple page it captivates your interest things i don't necessarily want about this i don't think i'm gonna need paragraphs of text so i think i really want to change that to sentences so here is a code pen i found by rich finelli thank you sir this is amazing it's a game of thrones Lorem Ipsum uh, text generator. So here you can choose between sentences or words and you can also choose between if you want to like Dothraki, if you want High Valyrian, or if you want Common Tongue. So I'm going to be forking this as they call it. Hashtag fork it. Thank you sir! Uh, however for my uh, Lorem Ipsum generator I'm going to be taking some of the elements out um, for Bob Ross, he only really speaks one happy, hippie little language, so I don't need the variations here. And then, I don't think I actually want to uh, mess with the words, I think I just want sentences. I'm going to be cutting some things out and then adding in my own custom Bob Ross text, and then I'm going to be attaching it to a new design. So a lot of the base will stay the same. Before we go any further, I want you guys to see the design that I have for this. So this is my final product. So I ended up making my own drawing of Bob Ross and then I created the background as well. I feel like he is very, you know, forest hippie vibes, so I wanted to do something that was green. I really, really struggled with this design. When you work for somebody else, you're usually given a list of requirements and, you know, kind of a direction to run with. When you're making your own personal projects, sometimes they can take a really long time just because you can do anything you want to. <laughs> so this is a big struggle. This has taken me a very long time. So this is my first kind of idea was having sentences, words, and then having a patterned background. Obviously this is very simple <laughs> and I did not finish this idea. I did not go with this idea. I just didn't didn't like it. I was like it's gotta have some some oomph. So then I kinda opted for this design and I was like it's just too it's too stale. It's too it's like too modern almost. It's not fun enough. So then I st started kind of putting a mood board together so you can kind of see my inspiration from these. This is a cleaning brand from Target. I'm seeing a lot of that like really modern 80s kind of vibe kind of back but in a really clean way and I love the colorways. You know, I feel like 10 years ago you would never see forest green with a lavender and today it's like, yeah, that's cool. So I really like that. And then I went totally rogue and decided to try yellow and I just wasn't happy with this either. I was like, maybe we'll make it green and then I was like, I just need to start all over and then eventually I landed, so you can kind of see my iterations, and eventually I landed on this. I'm really excited, I hope you guys are too. Uh, let's get into it. So going back to this, I want to explain to you the general um, 
structure of how this is right now. So in order to make this work, he has created six arrays. Within Common Tongue, we have an array that is sentences and we have an array that are words. Since I'm going to be taking out words, I won't need any of those arrays. And then he has the same thing repeated for High Valyrian and Dothraki. That right off the bat is something that I can just take out. So this is Brackets. It's free. It's by Adobe. It's a really good code editor. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles that you would have with something like Dreamweaver, you know, or Visual Studio Code. It does have live preview, so that's going to be really important when we're going through and editing all of this. Okay, that's not doing okay right now. So it has an SCSS file. It does not have a head. So let's add a head too. Let's add a title. Never got it. Nope, nope, not that one. So I have found this SCSS to CSS compiler. This is not normally the way you would do it, but just for the purposes of this video, we're just going to run this through here say compile, and then we're going to copy all of this and then paste it into a new CSS file. So ignore that. This is our new CSS file. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've added my new style sheet right here. So here's how I've set up my files so far. Um, one thing to know about CodePen is that just because you click the export button doesn't mean that you're exporting everything that is needed to make the file work. So right here, what I've done, as you saw, I had to process the SCSS file um, into a real uh, CSS file. So right here, you can see I've added a head, a title, um, I've linked to our style sheet that we just created. Um, we have it, a link to jQuery to make this all work together. We have our HTML right here, and then I've added in our script at the bottom. And then once we load this, you can see this actually works now. So that's great. Perfect. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take out all of our words because I don't care about words in this instance. If you're ever worried that you do something wrong, just check and make sure it all works. So now this shouldn't work. Yeah. Okay. So that's actually good. That's what we want. And we're gonna do the same thing for all of them. Gotta go! So none of our words should work. Now, sentences, doing great. Words, not so much. Okay, so goodbye words. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is I actually don't want Dothraki. Dothraki, Dothraki. I don't care about the Dothraki, and I also do not care about High Valyrian. We just want one array for this example. And then, since there are no more arrays, we can remove this little comma. So we're just gonna be working with one array, basically. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna go back into our HTML. Let's just close that script up. So this whole line, which has our label and has words, we can just remove this. Goodbye! So no, yeah, so now we just have sentences. Words aren't even an option. Cool. And then, same thing for Dothraki and High Valyrian. We don't care about these. Goodbye. Cool. So now we just have common tongue and sentences. So let me refer back to my comp. So I pretty much just have one input. Believe it or not, this is actually going to turn into this. <laughs> so I don't think I need either of these inputs to actually show. It will be important to link it up to the JavaScript, but I don't need to see it. The user doesn't need to see it. So this is an important thing right here. So our div class is words, sentences, container, and then the most important part of this is that checked equals checked. That means this is our default. Even if I hide this element, that it will still be checked. <laughs> so even though I won't be able to see it, if I just say, and then style is going to equal display, no. 
and there you go. So as you can see, it still generates text, but I don't need to see the label there. So we're going to do the same thing for common tongue. Style equals display none. And isn't that beautiful? <laughs> so now we have our basics done. We have the functionality. The main part now is just to make it look like this. So let's get into it. This is going to be fun. Our font family is source code pro. I really want it to be Big Coulson, so we're going to go over to Adobe Fonts. So we just click this little code button, and then we have to add it to an existing project. So I'm going to say Bob Ross, create, and then I can add as many fonts as I want to into this project and just use this CSS. So I'm just clicking copy, then we go into our CSS file, font family, well actually we're just going to... There we go. I'm going to give this a class of hero. All of this is going to be pretty much below, yeah, this is going to be below the fold. So I need to create this hero. I'm going to take our hero out of here and then make a new CSS file just so it's easier. So it's Bob Ross. This doesn't exist anymore. So Bob Ross.css. And then we're going to have this. In here, I have my hero background and I have Bob Ross. I'm going to rename this real quick. So I'm going to copy both of these and put it into our new project. So in source, we're going to create a new folder called images. And then this is where we will store both of those. So now I have Bob background and Bob face going on. We need to make sure that we're actually linking to this style sheet as well. Let's bring style sheet href equals bombross.css. Perfect. So now we have this. <laughs> so obviously we need to change a couple of things about that. Where are you at, Bob Ross? So with this, now that it's that it's not being 100 percent we have to figure out why. So first of all, okay, this is our heroes in a wrapper, and our wrapper's max is 80%. So we're just going to take that out of the wrapper, it's just going to be in the body. And then I can immediately see it change over here, now it's 100%. Okay, so now, next thing, I notice this needs to be white. So our hero h1, beautiful. That's right. Now I'm noticing a margin up here. I'm speeding through this because I'm on camera and I'm making mistakes. We have a rogue h1 class. There we go. And then we're just gonna add in Bob face. Oh, look at that. He's giant. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And there he is in all of his glory. So, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> and then now we're going to need to change our wrapper. So we're going to go back to our other CSS file. So our wrapper width is 80%. We're changing this to 100%. Text align center, perfectly fine. And then we're going to take this color from my mockup and add it in here. With those recent changes, this is what we have going on right now. Okay, so anything that has deep pink label, don't care about. So we want our border radius to be 12 pixels. Okay. There we go. Okay, now this button, this text needs to be a lot bigger. There is going to be some tweaking, but for the most part this is there. I don't want you to sit through me tweaking CSS for a very long time. So now we're going to get to the fun part, which is actually changing this to have Bob Ross quotes. So we're going to go back to our JavaScript down here. And so notice this says thrones ipsum. I'm going to change this to Bob Ipsum. 
So everything that says Thrones Ipsum now is going to be changed to Bob. So this is what we have so far. Um, I ended up changing the font down here to Open Sans and then making it a little bit bigger and spacing it out. So the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to create the footer super quick. There we go. Now is time for the fun part. So now we have this entire array of sentences that are still from the Game of Thrones Ipsum. So now we need to replace them with our desired Bob Ross quotes. Oh, and notice here it's always a sentence and then plus a space right at the end. That way your sentences aren't mashed together. There's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. So now that I've got everything pretty much done, here is the final product. Um, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And also, let me know what your favorite Bob Ross quotes are. And thanks for watching. Bye.